If you're just getting into a lifting routine, I would suggest really learn and perfect the movement before you start lifting heavier weight because at the end of the day, it's always about how you lift something and it's never really about how much you're lifting um, unless you're training for something in particular, whether you know, you're know you a power lifter or whether you're a bodybuilder um, because I have friends who are both and they would tell you the exact same thing. You know, Always perfect how you're lifting something before you move up to a level of how much you're lifting at the same time too. It's very easy to not look towards the future, if you will. Um, a lot of people, they don't see themselves as growing to be a senior citizen um, because at the end of the day, your body is going to get weaker. Um, it's never going to be the same as it once was, but it's just a matter of once you do age, just keeping as functional as possible and as strong as humanly possible as well. Because a lot of people think that once you reach a certain age, then you're not going to be able to gain lean muscle whatsoever but that is very much false. There is always something you can do to um, keep strong. So, you know, I would recommend a lot of compound movements. Um, so a lot of compound movements, um, those are movements that refer to, um, you know, working more than one muscle group. Um, and then you have isolation movements, which are your bicep curls, your uh, tricep rope pull down. Um, so th that stuff is important too, but if it's a matter of losing weight and uh, gaining lean muscle mass, um, then I would recommend movements such as, you know, your bench press, your squat, um, your deadlift. Um, if you have access to a barbell at your gym, you know, don't be afraid to get some weight on there and, uh, you know, start researching proper form, um, have someone else teach you proper form, um, and just really work your way up from there at the end of the day too. Your physical fitness is very easy to overlook at the end of the day because a lot of people, you know, we live in a day and age where we like to overstimulate ourselves, whether it's doom scrolling on Instagram, um, whether it's, you know, watching or doing certain things that, you know, we shouldn't be doing. Society in general could really benefit from being more physically active and, you know, being more in shape. So at the end of the day, just don't be afraid to get that gym membership you know don't be afraid to really start messing around with weights start messing around with machines you know really really see what you're made of at the end of the day find a fitness routine that works for you you know whether it's you know full body split or whether it's like push pull legs or whether it's an upper lower routine find something that works for you and find something that also works for your physical health as well you know because you definitely don't want to you want to push yourself but you don't want to push yourself too hard, if that makes any sense. Um, find something that really works for you. Find something that keeps you moving, keeps you healthy, keeps you active. Um, and at the end of the day, just have fun with it. You know, don't be afraid to uh, really have fun with your fitness because a lot of people view fitness as a chore. They view fitness as something that they don't want to do, but they have to do. But it really needs to become a part of your life because I don't care whether I'm on vacation, um, if it's a holiday, you know, I'm still gonna find the time to get into the gym. You know, I'm still gonna find the time to, um, you know, get my workout in. I mean, you know, Christmas Eve, I was in the gym and on the way to the gym, I actually got rear-ended. <laughs> so that was a whole hassle. But at the end of the day, um, I still got my workout in. I still made it happen. And that's what I recommend for um, all of my clients. As for supplements, I don't use um, too many supplements, any sort of supplements I use. I use um, Whole Food Vitamin, My Kind is the brand because it has non-synthetic non vitamin um, base in it. So in like for instance, your B12, it has um, 
methylcobalamin instead of cyanocobalamin, which means that it's a non-synthetic form of B12. And so that's just one example, but all of the base, they're like, you'd say gummy vitamins, right? But no, they're not really like your standard gummy vitamins. They're made of all whole foods, fruits, vegetables. So there isn't any added sugar in them. Um, I do take a magnesium supplement that is um, all naturally, like I think it's nature made at magnesium, um, just because I, it, that, it, that really helps metabolize uh, your D3 and, and everything, and it's really good for your, it's really good for your muscle development and every, everything like that as well. So I take magnesium, I take, um, sometimes I add additional supplements like maca powder to any smoothies that I have, but I kind of keep it light on the supplements, or I try and infuse my diet as much as possible. So if you take a classic resistance band such as this uh, Spry, S-P-R-I, um, you can just get these at your local Walmart or Target or something along those lines. But these are great for either a warm up or a cool down before you hit the dumbbells or before you hit the barbell. Because essentially, you really want to come up, maximize your time under tension, really get those muscles loosened up. And I'll kind of do some uh, bicep curl variations with these as well. Again, just go nice and slow. Really maximize that time under tension, really get those muscles warmed up. And then I'll kind of warm up my medial delt by just coming out here a little bit. Again, I'll come out, I'll hold it for a second or two, I'll come right back down. Any one of those movements you can utilize for either your warm up or for your cool down. Depending on what your goals are, start out very light and then work your way up from there you know go very light with some dumbbells um you know just hitting your compound movements uh those are movements that work more than one muscle group so whether it's your shoulder press your bench press um your squats your deadlift um always push to that next level whether it's adding you know a fourth set whether it's adding, you know, two more reps at the end of your exercise, whether it's adding, you know, five more pounds, whatever it might be, just to add a little bit more each time to your workout and just really keep things interesting. You know what I mean? You know, don't spend so much time, you know, doom scrolling on your phone because that is a very easy trap to fall into at the end of the day. I mean, I find myself falling into that trap and it's it's very much a, a conscious thing to um, not doom scroll, to not just get on your phone in between sets and to just you know start doom scrolling because your muscles will actually start to relax as well and you really want to keep that momentum up for your workout too so the next movement is uh just a push movement it's your uh, classic everyday push-ups but i'm going to use these push-up pads that my boy x mr tattoo x has provided and uh we're going to start with what's called neutral grip push-ups and neutral grip push-ups work more your triceps than your chest The next variation of push-ups that I'll show you is what's called wide grip. So with wide grip, this will target more your shoulders and your chest. Make sure they're about shoulder width apart. Practice your push-ups. I mean, the way I see it is that many years ago during the time of early humans, we used to, you know, hunt for our food and our lifestyles were based on our physical strength and everything like that. Now we live in an era where, you know, we whip out our phones and we're doom scrolling and we're very addicted to those cheap dopamine hits, if you will. And with my training and with my physical fitness, I'd really like to kind of, I'd really like to kind of break that paradigm that uh, society has kind of been placed upon. Um, like I said, we seek those cheap dopamine hits. Um, at the end of the day, it's just not worth it. You know, society's becoming weaker. You know, we're on our phones, we're doing this, and we're doom scrolling. Um, so, at the end of the day, I would just say, you know, limit how much time you're on social media. You know, limit how much time um, you're, you know, behind a screen, behind the TV. And at the end of the day, just get in the gym. Just uh, start a lifting routine. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to seek out a trainer like myself. And uh, there are people out there that are genuinely ready to help you out and that are genuinely ready to help you achieve your fitness goals as well.
Yeah, it's like lower though. It is, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, so what's that working out? Um, so essentially, when you have them at the neutral grip, like I have them right here, so for the camera, that's how I'm gripping the push-up pads. Um, that essentially works your triceps a little bit more than your chest. Huh. But when you have them with wide grip, like I'm going to do now, this works more your chest. So at the end of the day, find something that keeps you moving, whether it's, you know, going for a walk outside, but... What I would recommend is finding a strength routine, you know, something that gets your, not only gets your body moving, but also gets you lifting heavy things in general. Because as humans, that is what we are designed to do is to lift heavy things and to, you know, give in to our primal instincts of, you know, remaining physically active because that's what we were designed to do. You know, we weren't designed to sit in an office all day. You know, we weren't designed to, you know, stare at a screen all day. So with that being said, moving forward, um, that's what I really wish for my clients is to, you know, get away from that sedentary lifestyle and to embrace a lifestyle that promotes, you know, overall physical and mental health. And that's what I really aim to do with myself as well and with my training moving forward in life. So the next movement I'm going to show you guys is called the dumbbell row. So with the dumbbell row, it is a pulling movement that essentially works your lats and your biceps and assists with overall posture control. So with this movement, make sure your back is nice and neutral. You're not arching too much. You're not doing this too much. And all you're gonna do is keep your elbow close to your side and just pull right up. Notice when I come up, I kind of hold it for a sec, maximize time under tension. Get a good little pump going. Now let's see that from the other side. Like I said, remember to keep your elbow close to your side and really feel it in your lats. So that's the thing with lifting. There are very many health benefits, you know, such as reducing the risk of cancer, you know, reducing the risk of, you know, diabetes, uh, reducing the risk of obesity. Because at the end of the day, I always tell my clients, you know, don't necessarily step on the scale and use that as a metric for your success you know don't be afraid to you know take measurements around the waist and everything like that you know don't be afraid to you know take before and after selfies and that kind of thing as well um because at the end of the day don't just rely on one source of measuring your progress because that's only going to serve as more of a detriment to you than anything else this next movement I'm going to show you guys is what's called the dumbbell overhead press. So with this movement, this is another pressing movement that targets the front delt as well as your shoulders. Um, I've heard a lot of people refer to this as the front delt raise, but I mean, just keep it simple. At the end of the day, um, it's literally just a dumbbell overhead press. I always tell my clients to use your knees to get the dumbbells about ear level on either side. And then press upwards and in. Your elbows should go a little bit past your shoulders, but one or two inches. But really feel that squeeze. Anything you do in life, whether it's uh, with your fitness or with your career um, or with your relationships, um, you really have to go 100% at the end of the day, especially with your fitness because, you know, keep physically strong, keep mentally strong, and at the end of the day, that, in my opinion, is what makes a well-rounded person, is someone who consistently hits the gym but also hits the books at the same time, you know, it, it pays quite literally to be well-read at the same time.